what's the issue? Web gallery. Uh, it doesn't have that much. By the way, this demo has three different views. Then I go through all those three different views. Okay. You can see my fingers on the display to know that this is not a pre-recorded video. <laughs> So this is just a plain view. Let me show a little bit more interesting view. This is something And this is an HTML, by the way. Yeah. It's all built using HTML5. So this is more like temporal or time view of the photos. So if you are very impatient like me, you can just go to the future or Past very quickly or can slow down smoothly. And you can easily see how smooth the movements on the display and how well synchronized the movement of display with that of my fingers. Well, you can just quickly, oops, I went too far. Slowly, slowly. See, it's amazing to see something like this completely written in HTML5. If you are more adventurous, well, there is something that is smoothly moving around, but you can have some vertigo. <laughs> smoothly, smoothly. So it's amazing how good a performance Purely HTML5 based applications can do. I like some cars in here. Okay. So, this is the first demo. The second demo is. I can just let it go self, or I can just move my fingers to give different perspective. It's no coincidence that this demo ends with the firewall. <laughs> I think one of the, one of the key things is to understand is that you know uh, we're so used to um, we're so accustomed to uh, uh, using HTML and JavaScript for you know um, to create websites and to create great websites. Uh, once you put that local and you know on a on a real web runtime that is optimized you know uh, vertically for a platform. It is very easy, and, and once you do the coding correctly, you know, and, and we will be as part of the SDK providing, you know, uh, a, a lot of uh, sample applications that will, you know, uh, how much you can create with HTML5 is it is just as rich as what you can do with native, and you know, we will continue that path. So, I mean, so this is a simple CSS based demo. Uh, just turn it on. So this is pure CSS, just running on, uh, you know, on the visual, uh, visual stack, graphic stack.
a lot of companies have contributed lately, if you, uh, as you know, in, uh, in WebKit to uh, CSS. Uh, you know, a lot of contributions came from Adobe that has been extremely beneficial and, and a lot of other companies and that allows you to do uh, uh, you know, an amazing amount of, uh, of manipulation and animation you know, just using you know, CSS and just understanding it and, and you know, doing that manipulation. So, uh, so we think that you know, um, for the vast number of applications, people will be able to develop very compelling applications and including casual games, by the way, as you can tell from the animations, you know, these are really game quality. Yeah, sure, it's not going to be, you know, uh, probably all the games, but you know, a lot of the casual gaming will be able to. We will be able to do, it, you know, using the HTML and the engines that we have on the on the Python platform. So here is the context. They can make a phone call. Yeah, we got. Uh, can I call you, man? Yeah, I, I have my phone here. It this is your right. phone. This is not Wi-Fi connected. We got the SIM. Let's hope it works. Is that your name? There you go. Hey, it works. <laughs> so this, this really comes to you some of the device APIs, you know, uh, the call APIs that we've, uh, we've worked on, you know, uh, with HTML. So, so this is great. This is great. Uh, thanks, uh, JD, for walking us through this. Um, you know, and this address book is also in HTML, right? Yeah, yeah.